Hello everyone, thank you very much once again for joining in for VisIQ Tutorials. Uh, in this video we will learn how we can upload content into our virtual classroom. And you can um, upload multiple kinds of contents into the virtual classroom but for that all you need to do is click on this tab in order to choose what kind of content that you would like to. Firstly we have the whiteboard. When you click on the whiteboard that will open up a whiteboard where you can draw, write and type things. If you are into you know certain subjects where there is a lot of writing you can utilize this uh, whiteboard in the best way possible. We have multiple tools on the whiteboard starting from the color grid so you can actually click here to choose the color that you would like your brush strokes to be in. Then uh, it comes to strokes what uh, different strokes that we have. Uh, we have a pen brush and highlighter which is you know thicker than the other uh, respectively. Now we have uh, uh, we have different shapes starting from basic uh, square circle triangles to smileys and block arrows grids uh, you know uh, then we have solid shapes uh, and flow charts chemistry electrical and global maps as well so you can utilize any of these uh, shapes if you would like we have a transform option that actually helps you to select multiple objects on the whiteboard then we have uh, hand tool or drag tool in case if you have done something on the whiteboard and you would like to you know uh, move your uh, page you know up and down so you can actually use that uh, uh, for that purpose then we have a eraser button anything that you know eraser tool that you would like to be removed from the whiteboard all you need to do is use the eraser tool press and hold shift and click on any object and that object will be removed from the whiteboard then we have the T T stands for text anything that you would like you can go ahead and you can uh, type in onto your whiteboard so all you need to do is just type in and click anywhere on the whiteboard and your text will be there and it will be shared with the rest of the classroom now we do have a camera option that actually gives you the feasibility to upload images into your live classes. All you need to do is click on the image uh, button and then go to wherever you have your uh, you know images stored. All you need to do is select uh, the image that you would like and let's say if I select any image and click on the open button and you will see uh, that image uploaded in a bit of time depending on your internet connectivity speed and everything. So there is the image. Now once it is done, you always have the undos and redos, so you can undo it anytime and you can redo it anytime. Now after the whiteboard, you can also play your media file. All you need to do is click on the media player and that will give you the list of files, the list of audio and video uh, files that you have uploaded in your content library. And in order to play the video files, all you need to do is click on the file and that particular video will start streaming in the virtual classroom. Now once that is done, you always have the option to upload the content. Now when you click on the content tab, that will give you the option to upload your content that can be anything from a PDF file to Word document to an Excel sheet or even RTF Word documents. If you would like to upload anything from your desktop, all you need to do is click on the choose file button. That will give you the option to browse through your hard drive. All you need to do is just simply select the document and, uh, and that document will be uploaded in the virtual classroom instantly. So you can click on the open button. Now, other than that, if you have uploaded any documents in your content library, they will reflect in this area by default. All you need to do is click on the file and that will show you a little preview right here just to make sure that this is the same document that you would like to share with your classroom. Once you have confirmed that this is the document that you would like to share, click on the share button and that document will be shared with the rest of the class. Now, apart from that, you can also open the code editor in case if you are a coding expert and you would like to train and teach your students how to do coding and stuff so you can actually utilize that uh, within the virtual classroom as well you can also uh, you can also import your previously written .js files which is uh, javascript so you can click on the open button and select the file that you wish to and that will open up the entire code right here and if you have worked on that uh, particular code and you would like to save the changes you can also click on the save button and that will save the codes and the changes that you have made th during the session so always obviously undos and redos and uh, language select option is there whether you want to go and work with JavaScript HTML or CSS uh, and we have different themes that you can uh, work with basically these are different uh, colors that, that are there so you can actually uh, work with them and then we have text size so what's you know size uh, for the text that you would like to keep here so it's entirely up to you how you would like to now apart from that there is also an option that says save to PDF that is for your whiteboard tools now in case anything that you would like any work that you have done on your whiteboard and you would like to save it so can you can 
click on the save to PDF and that will be saved as a PDF file so that will give you the option to save it or open it it's entirely up to you what you would like to do with it and you can click on the OK button to confirm the action so this is how we can utilize uh, different kinds of uh, content into the virtual classroom that you can use and utilize to deliver more effective classes thank you once again for joining in for VizIQ tutorials have a good day bye for now